In this tutorial, I'll show you how to calculate dosage using milligrams per kilograms per day. Sometimes you might get a dose that's stated in the manufacturer's information as milligrams per kilograms per day. This means we can calculate the patient's weight in kilograms, multiply the recommended dose, and take into account the number of times per day the dose is to be given. The goal here is to determine how many milligrams can be given in each dose. In case you're confused, let's read the question. An infant, 15 months old and weighing 20 pounds, needs streptomycin sulfate, which is usually administered to adults as one gram or 1,000 milligrams as a daily intramuscular injection. Determine the pediatric dosage if it is recommended to administer 20 milligrams per kilograms per day for a maximum of one gram of streptomycin sulfate. Notice the mismatch already. The information provided by the box is in kilograms, whereas this infant is in pounds. So what we have to do is convert 20 pounds into kilograms. Now the conversion ratio for pounds to kilograms is the following. 2.2 pounds is equivalent to one kilogram. As a result, I can take 20 pounds and multiply it to one kilogram per every 2.2 pounds. In other words, I'm taking the amount of pounds and dividing it by 2.2. So let's go ahead and do that. 20 divided by 2.2 gives us approximately 9.09, .09, and I'll round this to one decimal place, just for simplicity's sake. So this should be 9.1 kilograms. Now that we have this information, the box tells us that we have to give 20 milligrams per one kilogram per one day. Now there isn't a one written here, but there is a one, and so is there a one over here. So that's per one kilogram. If the child was one kilogram, then we can simply take 20 milligrams and give it to the child per day. We would be fine like that. Instead, what we have to do is take 20 milligrams per one kilogram and multiply it to the number that we found. Because by multiplying it to the number that we found, this kg and this kg will cancel out, leaving us with 20 times 9.1. Using our calculator, 20 times 9.1 gives us 182 milligrams per day. So according to the milligram per kilogram per day, the patient should be given 182 milligrams of streptomycin sulfate as a daily intramuscular injection. In question number two, if a patient weighs 180 pounds and an order is given for a dose stated as 20 milligrams per kilogram TID three times a day, how much should the patient receive? So this time we have 180 pounds and we need to convert it into kilograms. I'll take 180 pounds and multiply it to the exact same conversion ratio as before, one kilogram per 2.2 pounds. I'll use my calculator, I'll take 180 divided by 2.2 and we end up with 81.81. I'll round this to one decimal place as 81.8. 81.8 kilograms. Notice that these units cancel out mathematically, leaving us with kilograms. According to the medicine itself, we have to administer 20 milligrams per one kilogram. So I'll take now 20 milligrams per one kilogram, I'm simply rewriting this number, and multiply it by 81.8 kilograms, and notice what happens, that cancels out with that. So I'll multiply the number that I have on my screen times 20, and I end up with approximately 1,636, rounded to one decimal place, 1636.4 milligrams of this medicine for the whole day, not three times a day. Because unlike in question number one, where it was per day, this one is three times per day. So technically, this number is being divided by three doses. And if we divide this by three doses, we actually end up with how much should be given per each dose, which is 545.5. 545.5 milligrams per every one dose. And there you have it. Three examples on how to calculate dosage when given in milligrams per kilograms per day.